everyone. Greetings from the Thomas House. Merry Christmas to you and yours. We are sitting at home today <clears throat> with the side effects of COVID-19 and cannot believe that we are not together this Christmas Eve with you. And uh, we just felt that it was best that we all stay home out of an abundance of caution. Uh, several people at the church uh, also have COVID-19. And uh, one thing is for sure, 2020 has been one of those years uh, that has not failed to disappoint. We are going to have a quiet Christmas at the Thomases, our grandsons up in Minnesota, waiting for us to uh, get out of quarantine. So we'll miss him on Christmas Day. But it's just kind of one of those things. And as I've been thinking about friends and family this year who have lost loved ones, some have lost loved ones to this disease. Uh, I have a cousin in a hospital tonight fighting for his life. And so we feel very grateful, <clears throat> despite the fact that we can't taste a thing or smell a thing with all of this wonderful smells and food at Christmas time. It's just going to kind of be one of those things we deal with. And sometimes life just kind of hands you the lemons. And so you just do your best. But I wanted you to know how much we love you very, very much and miss you. Leslie and I have been thinking of all of you, especially those of you right now who've recently got COVID-19. And we know it'll be a different holiday for you as well. But the one thing that I keep remembering is something happened the other night. If you guys had a chance to get out maybe in the night sky and see the great convergence of two big planets. Uh, some say it might have been the very constellation that marked the, and signaled the birth of Christ. Who really knows? <clears throat> but tomorrow, Christmas Day, will be the great convergence of two billion souls around the globe celebrating the birth of Christ. And in the birth of Jesus, we know that no matter what the circumstances are, are at our life presently, we have the hope of everlasting life. We have the hope of salvation because Jesus came. That first Christmas night, Jesus brought promise of peace to the world. So that's our prayer for you. <clears throat> we love you. We hope you have a very blessed, a very peaceful Christmas. We hope that your family gets to all gather. You get to all share in those great meals and see the kids and grandkids. If you get a chance to think of us, some of us who are kind of isolating, uh, feel free to do so as well. Pray for us. But we do wish you the very best Merry Christmas for 2020 and may 2021 be a better year. God bless you. Merry Christmas. Welcome to our Kuykendall Family Christmas Eve. Christmas is a little bit different this year. Please join us as we sing some favorite Christmas carols. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing. with truth and grace and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders wonders as they lay 
in fields where they lay keeping their sheep on a cold winter's night that was so deep. Noel, 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 born is the king of Israel. saw a star shining in the east beyond them far and to the earth it gave great light and so it continued both day and night Noel, Noel, Noel This is Austin, live from the sanctuary. Oh, is it live from the sanctuary? Hey, I thought we would try something different this year. Since we're not in the sanctuary on, on Christmas Eve, I'm gonna do my Christmas Eve service that we're doing virtually from the sanctuary. But I feel like this is a library and that's not really how God planned it. So, hey, this is Austin, live from the sanctuary. Hey, I've gathered around some of the major scenes from all over the church. Don't tell Miss Sandra. I promise you, if you tell Miss Sandra, I'm going to get in trouble. Yes, yeah, so these are all of our manger scenes. Not all of them. Every room has a manger scene. In fact, this one is one of my favorite. It's so tall and so majestic in the halos. And oh, it just does it. This one is one that I sort of normally picture. And this is the one, I don't know if you've made this yet. This is out of your uh, Advent action series that we deliver to your houses. So this is called the paper towel roll or toilet paper roll nativity. I know that sounds weird, but those are right there in your, your shoe boxes that you received from us or your boxes. They weren't shoe boxes. They were boxes you received from us to celebrate the nativity. Now, as we celebrate tonight on Christmas Eve, we think about the fact of but this, this manger scene is empty until tonight. Tonight is the coming of Jesus. And in fact, in Luke 2, this is where the story happens. It says, So Joseph went up to the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, to the town of David, and because he belonged to the house in the line of David, and he went there to register with Mary, who he was pledged to be married to, and was expecting a child. And while they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available. Now, we're going to take this a different way. There's no guest room available to hold them. So many times as we get to Christmas, everything going on around that gets us so busy. In fact, right outside this door is traffic. And if you could hear all the traffic, everybody going, trying to get somewhere, tractor trailers, delivering stuff, people taking presents, people walking back and forth, going to eat, going to get groceries. The world is so busy. Sometimes there's not room for Jesus. Tonight, as we gather together by the family, let's talk about that manger being filled with Jesus. Let's talk about our heart being filled with Jesus. Tonight is a time that we pledge Jesus we want you in our life. We want you to fill us every day. We want to follow you. So Lord, we love you. And we praise you. So be in our life, Lord. Be in our Christmas. And that's our, our prayer today for you. Now, every one of you should be receiving a bag just like normal where we try to give you some Christmas activities, a devotion book, always some candy because Christmas candy is where it's at. Those Brock's nougat, you know, the ones with the little tree in the... Okay, never mind. Okay, but you're going to be getting those at your door. We're so excited about this new year, but we don't want to overlook the amazing scene of the manger, the amazing thought of Jesus being born into our lives. So this is Austin, love, wait.
Miss Sandra? Who, who told you? Live from the living room, this is Austin. Thank you for joining us virtually on this Christmas Eve service. I'm going to read a verse that uh, I think is really meaningful for us today. It reads in Matthew chapter 1, verse 23. It says, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bear a son, and they shall call him Emmanuel, which trans means, translated means God with us. Let's pray together. Father, we are so thankful that you sent your son because we need you. Uh, we need you to forgive us of our sins. We need you to be our comforter with all these things that's going on in this world today. With this virus, people can't see each other. And Father, you're here right with us. You will never leave us. You'll never forsake us. And Father, we just thank you for a God like that that we can call on you anytime, anywhere, and you'll hear us and comfort us because you are God, the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. And Father, I thank you for coming to die on the cross, but I also thank you for never leaving us alone. And we just ask all these things in your precious name of Christ, amen. Savior is born. Christ the Savior is born. 
Please, please.